I got MMA because, first off, I'm just white trash. I don't know, I've never really been like a fighter, you know, like, I've always just like a shy kid and I've never got into trouble. I've never been sent to the principal's office or anything like that, you know, never got in trouble, but I've just always been interested in MMA, you know. But I never thought in a million years that I would ever do it. Martial arts has kind of always been a part of my life. And I just fell in love with it. And I was like, I have to do this. Like, I knew it right then and there. For me, you know, I'm also a kindergarten teacher. So during the day, I work with kids, which I love. Don't get me wrong. But um, parents always ask me, you know, they ask me how I, like, keep calm during the day. They never see me, like, get upset or really frustrated with the kids. And it's like, honestly, it's because I come in every night and do this stuff, you know. It's like I get to get all that, like, aggressive energy out. So. I don't, you know, go all psycho on people I actually like. <laughs> gives you something to do, you know, you have to take really good care of yourself. Definitely, because it gives them an outlet to, for their anger and their being aggressive and stuff, Then, rather than, like, putting it on other things. It keeps me calm, you know, I'm, the kids, I feel like the kids get along with me really well because I don't yell at them ever or get, I don't snap at anybody. I, I don't have the best temper, so it's kind of good for me to come here instead. You get a lot of the like angry teen types who, you know, got the crap kicked out of them when they were little kids and, you know, they don't want that to happen anymore. But other than that, you know, you get like suburban housewives and stuff and women who just want to get in shape and look good in a bikini, you know? You can just say, oh, I'm going to go do UFC and come in here with a tap on shirt and think you're sick. Like, you have to be here. A lot, you have to put in a lot of time and a lot of dedication, otherwise you're just going to waste your time and look like an idiot. Sport, you can't, there's no one to rely on, you got to just work it out yourself. In team sports, you can always make an excuse or say, oh, this person did this, or you can rely on other people to, like, do your work. Here, you have to do the work yourself, and you have, you're the only one accountable for what you do. Just that they understand when they should fight. Like, not just recklessly fighting, I suppose. It's just, it, I think you have, the more educated you are on the sport, the more you'll enjoy it. If you just watch it to see like blood, people get beat up, then you're watching, just go watch WWE. It's not, it's not as barbaric as that. Like, a lot of people just see it that way as, you know, oh, watch them just, it's like a, just lock them in a cage and let them fight. That's, that's not how it is at all. Like, if, if you're actually like, know things about the sport, like, especially on the ground, they're like, oh, dude, they're just hugging. There's so much going on. Before I got my job teaching, I was just training for the fighting and you know, at about two weeks out of the fight, I had a really intense, like, emotional breakdown. I just flipped out and, like, couldn't stop crying. It was horrible. And it's just because it's, like, all that pressure and you don't really have, like, a release for it. Just plant your feet and swing your arms all crazy and then you get beat up. Like, you can't, you have to, like, like fighting is not, like, barbaric. You just go around there and start swinging. It's like a physical chess match and you can't, you can't just freak out. The moment of truth is always when the the announcer is like, um, you know, announcing both of us and ta talking about our records and where we're from and it's like, there's all these lights and you're just looking across the ring at your opponent and it's like suddenly you realize like it's all on you and you literally are all by yourself with someone who's trying to kill you. You can't just come like once a week or, you know, and just be on your free time and expect to be good. You have to definitely devote a lot of time, otherwise you might as well just stay home and do jumping jacks or something. Trainers are from Thailand, like the only other Fairtex is, there's one here, there's one in San Francisco, and then the rest are in Thailand. So our trainers go over there and fight and come back over here and teach. It's like the national sport, so if you don't do Muay Thai, then you're just like, you're out of the loop. Yeah, it's like baseball here. Like kids just get into it early and great about this sport is you're never done learning like you can never be like you can't say oh I'm done learning I'm the best like every day you're learning something new and you're getting better from the people that you're with and you know it teaches you self-discipline obviously it teaches you about keeping your body healthy and respecting yourself and other people it's good the kids get along with me really well because I don't yell at them ever or get I don't snap at anybody I'm a really laid-back person like and this is why you know I definitely wouldn't be 
if I didn't know that I got to come in here every single night and just get all that energy out, you know? If you learn how to fight here, you're not going to fight outside of here. It's, that's one thing they teach you, like, not to do. Every family needs to define violent for themselves. Why, why do you like that? Because it's just fun to do. Describe the passion. <laughs> like a romance novel or what? <laughs> Mother Goose, I'm a fighter.